my name is Keith Langford for Unix Kazan. I'm gonna show you a few moves that helped me become Alfonso Ford trophy winner in the EuroLeague last season. Being a scorer is, is definitely something that I feel like you're born with. Uh, I know a long time ago when I was, you know, coming up and playing basketball as a young kid, uh, one of my coaches told me that, you know, anyone can learn how to play basketball, but you're born a scorer. Being a left-handed player, uh, there's, there's, you know, three main, main moves that I, that I break down, break down into typically. You know, I don't want to give away all my secrets, but I give you just enough so you can understand what I'm saying. Well, the first, the most simple move, in my opinion, uh, in basketball off the dribble is the jab step. So a lot of times what I'm looking at is as soon as I get the ball in my mind, I'm anticipating where the defender that's guarding me, where he's coming from, and which way I can go. But everything always, since I'm a left-handed player, it always works off my right, my right leg as my pivot. So a lot of times as the ball comes, if I'm receiving a pass, I'm automatically in, in my stance. So my right leg is my pivot, and now I have the, my left foot to operate with. So typically, just to fill out to see if a guy, how good a defensive player a guy is, I'll catch the ball, hard jab left, and then go right. Everyone is anticipating left. Left hand is my strong hand. It's the side that majority of the time I prefer to go to. So initially coming into a game, my, my plan is to play on the anticipation of the defender playing me to the left side. Everybody's so worried about the left side. If I can get you leaning just a little bit, I can go right and then still get back to my left hand. Second part of that move, continuing on the player, the defensive, the defensive player's anticipation of me going left is instead of jab stepping, now I'm ball faking left. This is a very, very lethal and important move in my repertoire. So basically what I'm doing is I'm setting up off the right pivot again, taking the ball, and instead of the jab, I'm ball faking. Well, along with, along with uh, like a semi-jab step, I'm faking left with the ball, and as soon as the defender bites, I'm coming back right immediately to create space. Catch, right leg, semi-jab, fake, to the back. Third variation is, uh, so now I've jabbed left, I've ball faked left, and so now, uh, you know, I'm gonna put down left, cross back right. I'm gonna put the ball down left really quick, get the guy moving left, come back right, and as soon as I come back right, I get my body into him, my left side, I'm able to protect the ball and create a lane for myself. Again, right foot pivot, playing with the left leg, put down, cross back right. Now I'll give you a small breakdown of a few moves that I use to use your defender's anticipation on your strong hand to create space for yourself. Now I'm a left-handed player, so my footwork is gonna be different than a right-handed player. So if you're a right-handed player, instead of using your right foot as your pivot, you wanna start with your left. Left foot pivot, and your right foot is your guide foot. So as you catch the ball, pivot with your left, guide, jab right, and come back to create space. It works the same way on both sides. So, I'd like to thank everybody for coming to Gazan and checking out a few of my breakdown moves. Couldn't give you all my secrets, but hopefully I'll give you something that you can start with.